What it do, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. Glad to have you guys here. Look at this bad boy in front of you. This is one of my grails. Um, no other way to put it. I know that word's a touchy subject, but it is what it is. This is a watch that I've wanted for years. I think since this watch came out, since I've been collecting Invicta, I've wanted this watch. I've had the uh, gold bezel um, twice now, but I've never had any of the other versions. Out of all of them, this was the one that I wanted. This was the one to get. Either this one or the high polished version, because there's two versions. This one is a brush stainless version, but uh, still a beautiful execution. Um, we'll talk a lot more about this. I'm not going to size it or anything. It's just going to be a show and tell and talking about it, basically. But uh, I had to show you it close up first because it is a beauty. So if you're interested in this video, please stay tuned. So welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one here is uh, that word again. The grail for me. Um, this is one of those watches that I've wanted since it came out. Uh, the price point when it came out was way above something I could afford. And something I was willing to spend my money on. Um, even though I wanted it, it just wasn't worth it for me. It just uh, was not in the cards. But now I own it. So um, this is the Venom Hybrid OG. It's got that Swiss made there at the 6 o'clock. And this one is the um, Master Calendar Hybrid. It's got the Ronda 5040F movement. That's a quartz Master Calendar movement. And you see here on the dial, I'm trying to get the glare off of there for you guys. Saturday, April, and then the little red pointer there at the third. So it's Saturday, April 3rd, 2021. And uh, that's what makes this a master calendar is you have the day of the week and the month of the year plus the actual date. So um, how you set those is right here. So you see that you've got that little button right there. And you've got one on either side of the case over here. So you've got one there and one there. <clears throat> so the top left, this button here, is going to do your day of the week. This button over here on the top right is going to do your month. And the one down here on the bottom left, um, by the 8 o'clock, that's going to do your date. So you just push those in, and they adjust accordingly, and that's how you set that. And then setting the time is basic, you know, this this crown here is from the Subak 105. That's why this is a hybrid. It's got pieces off of different watches so you just click this in and then you unscrew it and then put it in your second position to uh, adjust the time very simple um, this one is all screwed down crown and pushers um, it's got the, the newer case back which kind of sucks it's that printed case back it's not actually engraved which is a bummer because this eventually wipes off you know when you wear this watch a lot I don't plan on wearing this watch every day, but I plan on wearing the crap out of this watch because it's something that I really wanted. So the dial, you've got that almost North Carolina blue on the reserve hand there, the chronograph hand. And then you've got that same color in the two sub dials, in the second minutes. And the rest of the dial is either black or white. But um, the hour markers also have that blue color around where the loom's at. But just a really good looking watch. And then it's, it's like a, almost like a matte high polished. So it's not, I wouldn't call it high polished. I wouldn't call it matte. It's like in the middle. But a very clean watch. Um, big shout out to Mo Alcaraz for this one. Um, I saw it and I was like, I got to have that watch. And he, he made it happen so that we could uh, work it out. And now I own it. So... This watch is just special because it's, it's one that I really wanted. 
And I throw that word around Grail a lot because I really don't care what anyone else thinks. This was something that I wanted for years. It's not an inexpensive watch, especially when it first came out, by no means. So this was a grail for me to obtain. And uh, now I have it. I'm stoked about it. And uh, I feel like uh, whether or not you think it's grail worthy doesn't really matter. Um, I enjoy the watches that I wear. And this is one that I've been wanting to enjoy for a long time. So now I've got two Master Calendar OGs. I've got the uh, gold bezel with the blue and gold uh, dial. And now I've got this all stainless steel version with the uh, blue and black dial. Now this is 52 millimeters, 20 millimeters thick. See that reserve logo on the case side. And then uh, all stainless steel, like I said, like a matte brushed, um, um, or not matte, or not stainless, but I'm confusing my words up. Not brushed, more like a matte polished. I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, you can see it for yourself. Like that's high polish on the inner bezel ring there. And this is like a, almost like a brush polish, I guess. I don't know what to call it. But then the bracelet's the same way. It's borderline shiny, but not shiny. But anyways, it's just a great looking watch. Um, stay tuned for photos. And I'll put this watch on my wrist and show you guys that as well. Um, just a killer, killer piece. And uh, I've actually got a hybrid on today, but it's not a master calendar. Um, this is the knockoff version of the master calendar. So this is a Ronda Z60. Not a knockoff watch. It's not a fake Invicta. But it's uh, the cheaper uh, version of the master calendar. So this is a Z60. But if you look at them side by side, it's made to resemble what the master calendar looks like. So you see, you've got the uh, the ring around there to make it look like the date ring that's on the master calendar. And then you've got um, the, the wheels that spin, just like the wheels do on the master calendar. So they tried to make the Z60 look a lot like the master calendar, but um, you know, it works. It's still a nice watch. I love this, you know, all gold reserve that I have. This is definitely a killer watch, but it's not the grail worthy master calendar that I now have here. And the one I'm wearing does not say Swiss made. It was not made back in the day. Um, let me take it off my wrist. So you guys can see it side by side a little bit more. Uh, the uh, hour markers on the bezel are just gold plated. The where these, you know, have the dark accents and pop a lot more. The crown on this one does not have the Sawaka Noma 5 where it collapses like that so it's easier to twist. It's just one solid piece. Um, the case bags are pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, the pushers are pretty much the same. The only difference is this is steel. This is plastic around like the, the pusher guard. Um, and of course, you know, the dial is very similar, but different. Still, still a nice watch. I still love this watch, even though it's not the master calendar. It still looks very good and I like wearing it. Fits very well. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for the photos. Like I said, have a great day. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and make sure you drop that hashtag big time gang. Love you all. See you in the next video.